Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Lee. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video today. Now today we are once again revisiting the brand. We are Tala. This is a sustainable clothing, mostly activewear brand, though they are branching out into other things, that was founded by Grace Beverly, who is of course a huge Instagram influencer. Now you may have heard of her if you were into fitness kind of Instagram a few years ago, mostly because of her very successful Grace Fit Guide, which was like a workout guide. She also has an app now called Shreddy, as well as the we Are Tala clothing brand. So she's obviously doing very well for herself. Now this brand is based in the UK. All of their pricing is based on UK pricing. So it can be quite pricey <laughs> to get it over here. I'm not going to lie about that. This is not like your bargain athletic wear. This is meant to be sustainable pieces that will last you a long time and that are very good quality. But with that being said, I have had some very on again, off again experiences with this brand. In particular, some really big issues with actually purchasing orders. And I will put down in the description box some of my previous experiences, especially with trying to get items on launch day. And I actually very recently had another very bad experience with trying to order some of the court pieces on launch day, literally had everything in my cart, went to check out within one minute and everything was sold out. That's an ongoing problem with this brand. I, to be perfectly honest with you, would avoid launches unless they are pre-order. Now, everything that I'm going to show you today was from a recent Skin Lux pre-order. Now, Skin Lux is supposed to be their like ultra high performance active wear. It's meant to be a lot more sweat wicking and like I said, high performance than their initial kind of standard pieces. I have tried their normal Zinnia leggings, which is just like their standard basic legging and I can't stand them but these were promised to be very, very different. All of these pieces, just a different feel. I find the Zinnia leggings and all of the other pieces that like went in that collection to be way too thick. And I'm not even gonna call it too much compression. It's like, because the material is so thick, it feels like you're getting crushed inside of them, at least for me. And obviously that is not representative of how everybody feels about them. This is a really popular company. I'm sure there are many people who love those leggings. Now, normally when I order stuff from We Are Tala, I do have to pay import duties. I have not had to this time. I live in the middle of nowhere. During the pandemic, it seems that a lot of places are not doing duties right now. I'm not sure why that is. I guess they don't wanna like wait at the door for you to go pay, but I'm not going to complain. <laughs> So just be aware that you may have to pay duties and I will put the actual price that I paid for each piece that I'm going to try on today down in the description box along with like the size that I wore and everything. But just know that it's like Lululemon prices once you convert it into the Canadian dollar. Like the leggings are around $92, $93 Canadian. I would say sports bras are like 70 to 75 and like jackets would be around that $90 range. So keep that in mind. But now without any further ado, let us actually talk about some of the pieces. So I have two full sets. I have a gray set and a black set. They did release some additional colors, including like a lavender and a like brown color. I didn't like the brown very much. I liked the lavender, but I was very worried that since this is my first time trying the Skin Lux, the lavender, if it ended up being completely see-through and not squat proof, in my experience, it's almost impossible to return anything to Tala. Um, you have to pay for return shipping back across the ocean. It's just not worth it at the end of the day. So I decided to go with pieces that should be squat proof, but I guess we'll see. So let me take off this little jacket. 
And this is the first set. So this set is in the Tornada gray color. I like this color a lot. I actually think it's really cute. I find I reach for gray activewear more than black. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, I really like how gray looks usually. So this is obviously a set. So gray leggings, a gray sports bra top. Now this top obviously has the little like under boob <laughs> detailing. I really like that. I think it's cute. I know it's not everybody's thing. It's a super high neck. It does have removable cups. You might notice my boobs look wonky. It's because one of the cups is sitting way up here, but I find them very hard to move around, which is always a problem. So I will probably end up removing them for my own use. Now, if you do work out at a gym and you want to be able to wear this just like at the gym, I do think you'd be able to see a little bit of nip through it if you took the cups out. So just something to keep in mind, it might be worth dealing with the pain if you have to go to the gym in public. Now, the bottom of this is very, very stretchy. It has like a thick elastic band at the bottom. So it does really hold it in place. It doesn't feel like it's going to shift around at all while you're working out. The back is just like a racer style back. I talked about this in my Pop Flex video. I don't love a racer back. I just find that they look awkward under most shirts. I would prefer like just normal straps, but overall I do like this. Now I got it in a size medium. I think that it fits well. It's definitely like a tiny bit loose. I probably could have sized down to a small if I wanted it to be more supportive. But even in the medium, I don't find that I need like a ton of extra support. I could wear this for like 99% of workouts that I do. I might just have to switch to a different one for going on a run. Now the material on both of these pieces is soft. I don't think it's quite as soft as like a Lululemon Align or anything like that. I would compare it more to like my airy leggings, maybe even slightly less soft than that, but it does feel nice. It doesn't feel bad by any stretch. Now for the leggings, I don't know that I love them as much as I was hoping to, but I don't dislike them. So first, the waistband. So this is obviously a thick waistband, but it just wants to roll over. Even just while standing completely normally, like I can feel that if I bend at all, it's just going to like flip or roll under. And I think it's partly due to the way that the seam is made. They're obviously pretty high waisted. I honestly wish that they were either just like slightly more or slightly less. The way that they sit right now just feels like very, very slightly below my natural waist, such that it feels a little bit awkward on me. These do have a middle seam. I find that they give me a little bit of camel toe. It is what it is. Everybody knows what's going on down here. <laughs> if that's something that bothers you, you can definitely wear like underwear or something underneath them. I am not. This is the result. I don't think it's horrendously bad or anything, but it's something to keep in mind if that's something that you don't like in your leggings. Now, there is a little pocket back here that I guess you could maybe put your phone in. I have my phone here. Yeah, I don't know what kind of phones these people have. It does not fit an iPhone XR, <laughs> not a chance. Um, you could put in like some money if you had a little bit of money that you needed to bring with you or a credit card or your gym membership. But it just feels a little odd that there's like a little zipper pocket back here that wouldn't fit your phone. And then I find personally that these leggings have like a strange amount of compression on my butt. Like I do feel like they're kind of squishing it a little flatter than it is. Like I don't think it looks bad, but I don't think that it's like, wow, I look bootylicious today. You know, like there's a difference. Which is strange because I don't feel like it has very much compression at the front. Like where the waistband sits, it feels like there's almost no compression, but then on my butt, it feels like there's a lot which it feels like it should be opposite to me. <laughs> in terms of length, I don't know if you can see the bottom of them, but I got the short length, which is supposed to be like a seven eighths length on an average height person. 
I am five foot one. The short length is like the perfect ankle grazing length for me. I also can confirm that they're very squat proof. Maybe if you wore like a very dark colored underwear, you might be able to see it underneath, but you're not gonna have to worry with like a nude underwear or no underwear, nothing should be showing. So overall, I would say I like the set. Is it worth like $93 plus like another $60? No, <laughs> I don't think it is. Um, but it's fine, I guess. I don't know. Like I 100% do believe that we should all be trying to look out for more sustainable options. I just find sometimes I the sustainable options aren't like the style that I want, or they aren't exactly what I'm looking for. And this is once again, a perfectly fine gym set. Like honestly, I do have workout sets that I like better from Aryan American Eagle, which obviously are not the most sustainable places in the world. But if you can't find pieces that you love, I understand why people would choose to shop there instead. All right, so next we have the black set and already a little bit weird. These leggings, exactly the same size, sit a tiny bit higher and I feel are less awkward feeling than the gray. A little bit weird, good to know. So obviously these are like the exact same leggings, just in a different color. I do like them a little bit better in the black, I think. I have the same problem where the waistband, and maybe this is just I should have got a size smaller, the waistband is like a little bit loose, but then it feels very tight on my butt. And I do still have that exact same problem where it feels like there's a lot of compression on my butt and it feels like it's flattening everything out a little bit. But like I said, I do think that I prefer the black ones. Ironically, the black ones are also like slightly longer. So I'm not really sure why. <laughs> like I said, I ordered the exact same leggings just in two colors. It's weird that they feel so different on. Now this little zip top is the Skin Lux running top. It does feature the signature little thumb holes that most running tops tend to have. I actually love those if I am running because then I feel like I don't have to wear mittens and I hate having to wear mittens. It can zip all the way up, fully zipped. I think it looks a little weird with black leggings just because it's too much. It does obviously have the one reflective stripe around the zipper, which I, I like, I think it looks cute, it's fine. Now I got this in a size medium like most other things. And one thing that I will say, every single long sleeve top or actually tops in general for the most part, like not bras, actual tops from Tala tend to be tight. Like they are meant to be bodycon if you don't like that or if you have bigger boobs, size up. Like I said, this isn't a size medium and it's not that it's tight on me, it's just very, very body con, like everything else is. I like how it looks. I think that it's cute. It's that exact same material that the bra and that the pants are made of. So I would say it's fine. It's very, very stretchy, but it's like $95 Canadian. And for $95 Canadian, I just wonder if you could get something with a little more va va voom, you know, in terms of like, a little jacket. Now, obviously it would end up being much more expensive, but if you are looking for sustainable and ethically made jackets in Canada, I highly, highly recommend Noise, and I will put a link to them in the description box. I got a winter jacket from them last year after hearing loads of stuff about how amazing the coats were. It is incredible. It is warmer than any down-filled coat that I ever had in the past. Truly, it is the warmest jacket I have ever had. In Canada, we need that. And it's just incredible quality. Now, Tala has recently released a line of winter coats. I don't know about them. They look, at least in the promotional images, a little bit cheap to me. Now, they might not be. They might be amazing once you receive them. I'm just worried that, at least if you're a Canadian, those will not be warm enough for winter here. <laughs> the noise ones let you pick between like 
what temperature does it reach where you live? And you can pick ones based on that and only see ones that are actually going to work. Like it hits minus 30 here. I need a coat that can handle that because I still need to like go to work in minus 30 weather. So in terms of closing thoughts, I don't know if I want to continue buying a lot of stuff from Tala. I really like the idea of the brand. I really like a lot of, you know, the promotional images that they release. I think they're really well done. The marketing around it, I think is really clever. I personally feel like I am let down by most of the pieces I've bought. I don't feel like they're as good of quality as it seems like they're going to be when you're going through the website. And there are a lot of like cute, sustainable things that they do. Like they give you a tag that can be planted and like can grow into flowers. It's seed paper. They, you know, use mostly recycled materials. Their other leggings are primarily made of things that aren't going to like break down and become a lot of microplastics. This one is not like that. These are like your standard active where they will break down and become microplastic. I guess I understand why the business was created and I like the idea of it. I just haven't been so impressed by the products yet that I would completely switch to only buying stuff from this brand. And I don't think that I will shop from this brand at least for the next while until I kind of see an improvement in quality, I guess, especially quality in the customer service experience, because that is one of the areas where there always seems to be problems at every launch. Customers are always unhappy. People are commenting on their Instagram and it just feels like the brand doesn't really ever respond to that criticism and just constantly are like, yeah, we had a great launch. Thank you everybody who purchased when underneath is like 50 customers who are like, hey, I got charged twice. Hey, my stuff was all in the bag and then it just randomly all sold out. What the heck? Lots of problems like that. So maybe let's deal with those first. Let's deal with improving, you know, the quality and the cuts of the clothes. And then maybe I'll see them sometime next year. So those are some of the Skin Lux outfits my thoughts on it. Let me know what you think about We Are Tala. If you have purchased anything from them in the past, please let me know how it went. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. If you've ever had a customer service experience with them, let me know how you felt it was resolved. Did they do a good job, bad job, whatever. I love doing these kind of mini deep dives into what's going on with different businesses and like how they run their business. So definitely let me know if you're interested in more of that as well or talking about my experiences with customer service at different companies because sometimes I get amazing service and I feel really respected as a customer, sometimes not so much. And thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also be sure to hit the big red subscribe button found down below if you have not already. You can also hit the bell notification icon to be notified when I post. I do put out a new video every single week. And thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you have an amazing week and that I will see you next time. Bye!